Hello everyone and welcome to my video presentation on antiderivatives. Today we're going to be talking about an indefinite integral and looking at the problem you can already tell um, that we would be using u substitution for this problem. There's never really a rule that says you know you have to use u substitution or an alternative form of substitution to solve the problem but as you work your way through many examples you'll notice that using those alternative forms um, can kind of be helpful to solve the problem. So let's go ahead and try use substitution on this problem. The first thing you want to notice is that to use use substitution, whatever is going to be substituted for u should kind of be the same thing as the derivative of whatever is in that function. That's kind of a broad term, but let me simplify that a bit. If we use negative sine of 3x for u, um, the anti, or I'm sorry, the derivative of that is going to be negative 3 cosine 3x. So what that tells you is that's pretty similar to this portion right here of the function of the cosine of 3x. So we would want to go ahead and use, I think negative sine of 3x would be um, a proper and appropriate substitution for u because we could kind of work with that and get several substitutions uh, to make this problem easier on us. Now, now that we have our substitution for u, what we want to go ahead and do is find the derivative of u, and that's, you always want to do that anytime uh, you have your u. That was a horrible d, by the way, but. So the derivative of u is just the derivative of negative sine of 3x, which is negative 3 cosine 3x, that we said earlier. So negative 3 cosine of 3x. And notice that any time you find the derivative of u, you always want to tag on dx to the ending. So it's just multiplied by dx. So after we have that, you can kind of see the similarities of this portion right here. This is negative 3 cosine 3x dx, which is pretty similar to this part right here. The only difference is, of course, this negative 3. So in order to have another substitution for this part right here, since we already have a substitution for negative sine of 3x, we already said that that would be u. So we have e to the u, and now we want to find another substitution we can put in there in order to solve the problem in a little bit easier way. And by doing so, we want to go ahead and divide this by negative 3. And you'll find that after we divide by negative 3, it gives us the exact exact same um, cosine 3x dx that we have right here. So we can definitely now substitute. So cosine 3x dx. All right, so now we have two substitutions. We have this part right here is our u. And this part right here in the yellow is our negative du over 3. Okay, so now we kind of want to go ahead and put everything together. Um, we have e to the u times d, negative du over 3. And that's what, we, what we've substituted so far. Now, one thing you kind of want to notice is that this is the same exact thing as negative 1 third times du. So what we can do is simply take out a negative 1 third, kind of put that in the front. So we have negative 1 third times e to the u times du. Let me put a parenthesis around here. Okay, so now what we want to do is, since this is an indefinite integral, we always want to go ahead and substitute 
back in for what we substituted. I know it sounds kind of funny that you, you want to substitute back in for what you substituted, but uh, we have to do that with an indefinite integral. So here we have, we still have a u. So what we want to go ahead and do is, let me just put this negative one third in the front. We want to go ahead and do is just simply put in that negative sign of 3x in for that u once again. negative sine 3x and we have a du so all we want to go ahead and do is add our c for the constant since we don't have limits we can't really substitute in for the u and that you will find to be our final answer this is the antiderivative of e raised to the negative sine of 3x times cosine 3x dx hope you enjoyed that and that helped you a little bit uh, go ahead and check out my other videos